Hey man, congratulations on joining New Orleans. Just kind of uh, lead us through or walk us through what led you to choosing New Orleans and, and kind of maybe if did you guys meet before the draft process at all? Uh, yes, we, we met before the draft process on a uh, pro day. Um, but like the process has been pretty great. Uh, I chose New Orleans Saints, but I feel like it's the best fit. Uh, definitely a great fan base and great culture. Brajan, what was your day like on Saturday? Obviously, you know, you you probably expected to get drafted. And then when you got the call from the Saints, can you share with us? Uh, definitely, definitely hard, but uh, I just keep moving forward. Definitely work hard. Um, after all the years of my life, I just learned to persevere. So uh, just thought of just keep going, um, perseverance. And uh, I'm just happy for the opportunity. What would you kind of say that, in in your own words, that you best bring to the table? And if we were to put a a label or just kind of say what your your best attributes are, uh, definitely a physical player, high motor, and uh, I'm just ready to show it. Um, I don't really like talking about a lot of things. I like to just show it in actions, but. You can definitely put it as a physical player, high motor. Hey, Craig John, I know you had that um, that extra year of eligibility and everything. Mm -hmm. What was it that kind of led to you, uh, that kind of made you gravitate towards transferring over to Arkansas in particular? Uh, just definitely just uh, just felt like I, I just needed a change. Um, I'm just glad for um, using my last year just to continue my studies and uh, just going to a new place. So I'm very, very happy for that opportunity that I got at the University of Arkansas. And, uh, was it uh, – oh, go ahead. Sorry, my, my bad. Oh, I, I was finished. You can go ahead. Oh, I got Sorry, don't, sorry about that. Um, was, it, was it, like, part of the plan for you to kind of stay in the SEC as well? Like, was level of competition something you were paying attention to with that transfer opportunity? Yes, uh, I definitely wanted to stay in the SEC um, because the SEC is known to be uh, one of the best conferences, uh, the best conference, and uh, I just wanted to stay in it. This team always talks a lot about iron sharpens iron and everything like that. You know, you, you talked about that importance of staying in the SEC. What about learning from a guy like Cam Jordan and the opportunity that uh, that potentially presents to you? Oh, definitely learn from him will be a tremendous opportunity for me. Uh, I'm a great listener. I pay attention to everything. And uh, just learning from him, uh, a very skilled, versatile player in the NFL that's very elite, uh, definitely learning from him will be great. Will be great for me. So I'm um, Truly blessed with the opportunity that God gave me. Is there anything that you already see in his game that, you know, you feel like could translate well to yours or or maybe that pinpoints a place where you're looking to, you know, take the next step? Oh, definitely. I've watched Cam Jordan. He's very strong at the point of attack. Uh, looks very loose. Um, knows how to pass rush. Carry his weight well as well. Um, definitely just learning from him. Um, because going in the NFL from college, uh, still got a lot to learn, a lot to process, and definitely uh, learning from him will help my game tremendously. So I'm just humble for the experience. What are you expecting then as you take, uh, you know, next level to the NFL rookie camp, uh, mini camp? OTAs and that. Have you reached out to anybody who's been in the NFL? What to expect? Uh, yeah, I definitely reached out to uh, the friends that's uh currently in the NFL. Uh, definitely telling me um it's a continuation of hard work. Uh, got to stay ready, be ready, um, stay healthy, and uh, yeah. Do we have anything else for Trajan? Yeah, sorry, I got I got one more. I just couldn't find my mute button. I apologize. 
Uh, Trajan, when you uh, when you're talking about, you know, those opportunities to grow and develop and things like that, what are some of the elements of your game that you're looking to looking to develop at the next level? Uh, definitely, I would say all around uh, because it's definitely always room for improvement. I feel like, which is a a very motivating uh, mindset. So I just think all around, um, I want to get better as an all around player, um, and just be the best I can be. Would you consider yourself a little bit more polished in one area, like as a pass rusher versus run defense, or maybe the other way around coming in? Uh, I won't really say polish until I'm at the elite level of the NFL. I will say, uh, right now I can't say really polished, uh, but I'm definitely working to be polished. So I'm trying to see myself in the the NFL and uh, the things that God blessed me, the talents to uh, showcase. Definitely, uh, I'm trying to get polished in the NFL. That's one thing I would definitely say because it's always room for improvement. I feel like for everybody. So I won't really say polish right now because I still got a lot to learn.